Hello everyone, it's time to finally open series three of the Spirit Halloween animatronic bag clips. I've had these probably since September and I just haven't had the time to do it. So we're gonna start off with the random one. I'm gonna use this trusty knife here. Uh, so yeah, let's start off with uh, this one. And all these figures in here are new. There's no repeats or anything like that. So I hope they keep doing that instead of having repeats from the last year, like what they did with season or series two. Hopefully it's in good frame. Let's cut off Barnard, or <laughs> the butcher's head like that. And let's see what the first one's gonna be. And, oh, it's Limb Ripper. And I'm pretty sure, is it? Yep, he's the exclusive one, either exclusive A or B, but it looks really cool. And I think this might be one of my favorite ones. And for some reason he does not have a limb. I know that the actual prop, did it come with one? I'm not sure, but it looks pretty Pretty cool. He is definitely a limb ripper, and he's covered in blood, and it's actually raised off the figure. And that looks pretty cool looking. Yeah, okay. So we got limb ripper. Let's put him right there. Probably, yeah, you can see him. Uh, and I think I only felt a couple of these, but it's been so long ago now, so I'm gonna just start off with this one, this one. Second one, sorry. But let's uh, cut up this one instead. Nope. So you can see all this because who is this? Oh, it's Lord Raven. And this is another cool one. I think that the one when I first got the impressions of the leaks of series three, I thought it didn't look too great, but actually getting these figures out of these packagings, they're really cool. Look at them. This beak comes out really far. And this guy was only 2022, and two years later we get a bag clip of him. Kinda kinda interesting. So hopefully we get more classic animatronics. Yeah, this one's cool. I like the lighting on them too, it looks pretty nice. We got Lord Raven as the second one. And I'm pretty sure all the figures are in here. Maybe there might be one missing. Does this one out on the floor pretty repetitively when I saw it? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy the whole box. And that's exactly what I did. And look, now it's the butcher. Which I call him barnyard, almost barnyard butcher in the beginning, but you know, butcher and butcher, barnyard butcher, yeah. And this one's really good too. The detail on them are actually really cool this year. Like, look at the dirt, and then he's got blood on where, you know, where the pig head is. Did he have eyes? I don't remember. I don't remember the prop actually having white within the eyes. I bet it was just black. That looks a little goofy. I think they did that on purpose to make it look like, you know, the butcher under the pig head. You actually can see his eyes, but the prop is not like that. Looks cool. Sorry that you can't really get the best looks on them, but hey, it's really close. Look at them. Look at them. I like that one. The Butcher is a cool prop. I sound like I said isn't, but he is a cool prop. I actually liked him, but I thought he would get annoying, but he really didn't. I just wish he probably sliced with his uh, meat cleaver. Who's this one? Let's see. It's, oh, the uh, Night Stalker. And, huh. Kind of looks like a woman for some reason with the way the straw hair is. <laughs> uh, I didn't really like this prop too much, but it's a pretty cool bag clip though. It's, it's kind of got a misprint where there's no of the like the net uh, netting uh, pattern on his shirt. I don't remember his shirt looking like that. Did it look like that? Might be a little it's inconsistent, but still nonetheless he looks cool. I need a I need a straw man one now. Just thinking about it. I can watch them make one next year. I'll have to buy the whole box. What is this going to be? Is it going to be a repeat or a different one? It's going to be... Oh, it's a Night Prowler. Or Pumpkin Patch Prowler. There you go. And again, this one, the color is very vibrant on the orange. And look at the his little uh, streamers from his... Yeah, this one's cool. I, didn't, I liked the prop at first, but then when I saw him, I kind of got let down by him in 2018. But this is a... He's pretty cool. I feel like the ones of this year is probably some of the like most detailed and best ones that they did so far. So there's a uh, pumpkin patch roller, and uh, let's go. Probably you want this one, right? Let's see what this one is. You think it's gonna be a repeat? Mm, it feels thin. I don't know what it is. It's oh, it's Harriet Hustle, which apparently she was supposed to return or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe that was made up, but she's a trap fleet chap. Trapeze clown, there you go. And she's like one of the first like female clown props that Spirit's ever had. And she's cool. I thought her knife was bloody. Maybe it wasn't. There's a better view. Yeah, 
She's pretty cool. I don't think she's as cool as the other ones. I don't know. I think maybe the prop looks a little bit better. But, hey, look at all that detail with the stripes, the red, the white. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe this front one. I'm probably looking at that one and getting annoyed that it's there still. I haven't got any repeats, but maybe this is a repeat. Yep, it's Lord Raven again. I kind of figured it was going to be coming. So we were five in without a repeat, which is pretty good. Uh, yep, here's another Lord Raven. If someone wants it, maybe you might get it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still thinking. I still need, I think, the Haunters, and that's it. But yeah, there's another uh, Lord Raven. Next one. Do you think it's a repeat or no? Let's see. If we can cut it. There we go. Oh, it's Gordo! And this is like one of the ones that can actually stand up, funny enough. Let's... There's Gordo. Imagine if it, it actually could be animated. That would be so cool. <laughs> he's not that bad. I like him. And the, he's really got that detail. He literally looks like Gordo. Literally. He looks like the animatronic. Like, the way they did it. Hey, the mid, but yeah, the guts and stuff look a little bit better. The animatronic is a little goofy. But this one's pretty cool. <laughs> there you go. There's Gordo. I'm not sure, I think we're going to get all of them. I'm pretty sure. We still need, what, Peekaboo, Monty, uh, Wacky Mole. I have a Wacky Mole because I got one earlier. Oh, and then the Widow. And that's it. Oh, and then the other exclusive, which was... Who was the other exclusive? I don't remember. No, it was Wacky Mole. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Wacky Mole. Was the exclusive. Oh, speaking of Monty, here he is. And he's, I think, another one that can stand. Yeah, he can. That's cool. He can stand up, too. It would be cool to put all these on a Christmas tree. Maybe I should do that. Uh, even he's got, like, the dirt effect on him, too. I think his face is a little bit goofy, but he looks pretty cool, too. And you see the detail, I swear, on these ones are probably some of the best that they've done. It's really well done, even the stripes and everything like that. Yeah, they, they actually knocked him out of the park with this line. Or Series 3, that is, because... The other two, yeah, they're cool, but I think the detail is so much better. That means maybe we'll get... <laughs> I've won back-to-back, -back, really? That's funny. Yeah, there you go, two Montys. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's kind of funny. Two Montys back-to-back. -back. And we got only three more, and this video is only seven minutes in, so I'm pretty sure this is shorter so far. We got four left. I think I want to keep one in the package. I kind of opened the other Barnyard Butcher I had, so that one might be a part of a giveaway. Maybe, I don't know yet. Uh, which one? Actually, I should keep them in the box so you could see them. I mean, you kind of can see them. I don't know. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I think this is another one. <laughs> I'm going to open it just because it feels like it's another one. Oh, no, it's not. Good. I'm glad I opened it. It's a Peekaboo Clown. He doesn't really have the digit eyes, sadly. That would have been cool if he had the swirls. He really doesn't. I'm looking at it, and it's kind of there, but it's not. Man, my camera doesn't want to focus. I want to focus on my ugly thumbs. But yeah, peekaboo clown. And he's really well done, too, especially with all the polka dots. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people like this guy. He was a pretty cool clown. I think a lot of people did not like him at first. Like, his color scheme didn't make sense, but... It's kind of cool. It's a different color scheme, orangey, colorish, and teal, green, blue, sky blue. It's a very interesting mix. I'm more like cyan, but you know, there's I've got three left. So where's the backing more? At? Who is this? I got feet. Wait, I think this is wacky more. Watch, it's gonna be wacky more. You gotta be kidding me. It is wacky more. <laughs> I'm really good at feeling these things for whatever reason, so I don't know. I just, once I felt the feet and then I felt this bulbous thing on the side, I'm like, yeah, that's Wacky Mole. I already have Wacky Mole, so I got another Wacky Mole. And he looks good, too. And he's got blood all over the hammer. Look at that. The neon, like, greenish against that red. That looks so good. And he's got that Wacky Mole look to him. I don't know what's going on with the prints there. It looks a little weird because of the dimension, dimensional on this figure. It looks a little goofy. That's kind of funny. Peekaboo Clown. <laughs> you can't make that up. Two Montys, then Peekaboo Clown and Wacky Mole. Imagine if Harriet Hustle was right next to them, too. Don't tell me I'm getting another one. I might just open... 
No. Wait. This is, uh, I think, the Widow. Yep. This is the Widow. Watch. Yep. What did I tell you? Back to back yeses, and it's the Widow. <laughs> Even though I kind of felt it, so, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of me saying, oh, yeah, I got it. But this is the Widow, and she doesn't have the white around her eyes either. The prop, it's just pure black eyes, so I guess they did that so it looked a little bit better because if they did it black, it would look like it had, she would have had like the biggest black eyes in history. But, eh, a little detail on her is a little iffy. Her hand, eh, I don't know. I think she's pretty cool, but not that great of an animatronic, honestly. When she was in store last year, it scared some people, and other people are like, does she do more than that? So... Uh, where she's looking, she wants to go in the pile over there, so she's gonna go in that pile over there. I think. Wait, am I missing somebody? No, I'm not. I think that's everybody. I want to know who's in here. This one's just thin. Hey, it's another uh, Night Stalker. Watch. Night Stalker? Yeah, it is Night <laughs> Again! Shit, I'm good at this. So, yeah, that is. How many is that? Got Limb Ripper, Lord Raven, The Butcher, Night Stalker, Pumpkin Patch Prowler, Harriet Hustle, Lord Raven, again, the, I was gonna say the Gordo, but it is Gordo, two Monties, a Peekaboo Clown, Wacky Mo Clown, The Widow, and another Night Stalker. So that's uh, four, eight, 12, 14. I'm pretty sure there's 16 in a box. So someone bought two of them before I realized it was out there. Uh, but yeah, apparently I got two Night Stalkers and two Monties. Huh. And, oh yeah, two Lord Ravens. So I might give away Lord Raven, maybe trade. Does someone need a Lord Raven? Does someone need a Night Stalker? And does someone need a Monty? So yeah, that's gonna be this full unbagging video. Yeah, it's an unbagging, it's not an unboxing, but look. Look at all the packages here. So I'm gonna have to find a, probably my, what's my favorite one? Ooh. I'd say my favorite one of the series might be Pumpkin Patch Prowler or Limb Ripper. Maybe even Wacky Mole. Like some, I did not really like when I first saw the leaked like photo. I think it was just like the planogram and someone leaked it because they took it, a picture of it outside or something like that and they zoomed in into the store and you could see the planogram. I'm like, eh, it doesn't look that great of a series, but then I'm very glad that they went with actual exclusives instead of returning like the whole series two or something stupid like that. But it's actually a really good lineup for these electronics in this series. And I can't wait to see what they do with series four. Spirit, please make the Reaper of Souls. I really want one. And even, heck, the animatronic too. It's my favorite Reaper animatronic, so. That's gonna be it for this whole series three animatronic baggy clippies unboxing. So let me know what you think of this series. Let me know which one is your favorite one. And thanks for watching.